So let's create the project. Open your Visual Studio 2019. And this is our intro screen. And obviously this is quite different than previous versions of Visual Studio. But the principle is the same. We are going to create a new project. So let's click that. And we are going to create an ASP.NET Core application. So from the menu, you can see that's quite extensive. It depends on what modules you have installed. But we are going to create, like I said, ASP.NET Core web application. So I'll select that and click Next. Give your project a name. I will call mine Candy Shop. And let's click Create. Now we are still not done configuring it. So what we want is an empty project. That's because I want to show you everything from scratch. And from the drop down up here, make sure that you select ASP.NET Core 3.0. That's what we are going to work with. So empty and ASP.NET Core 3.0. And here in the advanced options, we want to have the configure for HTTPS checked. That's because we are going to be using also authentication and authorization. So with that, let's just click create. And here is our created application. So let's have a quick look at what the .NET Core created for us. So first, let's explore the program.cs. And here you can see that we have a static void method. So this is the method that is first ran when the application starts, just like any other c -sharp program. And as you can see, we call here another static method called create host builder. And this method, after it runs, returns I host builder. So this effectively creates a host that will run our application. First, we call the create default builder method, which comes with quite a few defaults. And one of those defaults is the application settings JSON file, which is up here. This file will be read by the application when it starts. So the application expects this file and will read it automatically. This is important because we will be using appsettings.json to store our connection string to the database. Let's go back to the program. After the web host is created, it will be configured. And once again, the method configure web host defaults up here. This one contains several defaults that will be automatically implemented. It will create a web server called Castrel. Now the server that will be used for the internet deployment is still IIS server. And that one is also set up in this method. And the last method in the create host builder is use startup over here. And as you can see, it takes startup as the type of the parameter. And this is the startup.cs file that we have here. So let's have a look at this one quickly. And here we have two very important methods. One is configure services up here. And the other one is configure down here. These methods are called by .NET Core automatically and they are expected to be present. Now the configure services uses collection of iService collection type, as you can see over here. This is where all the services will be added to and that applies to built-in services as well as our own services that we will register here. All right, so this was just a quick look at the project structure. And now let's start adding some services that we need. 